In the Bible, we learn that after the flood, God gave Noah a promise that there would never again shall be a flood to destroy the earth. So Noah and his children would never have to experience a flood again. In many circles, they believe that if the planet is going to be destroyed, it would be done, done by fire. In the Bible, Book of Revelation, it talks about Armageddon and many people believe that it would be a nuclear war as we go into wiki and we put in the day August 7th 1972 which was a Monday they have here on that day at 1519 GMT or 1119 EDT the most powerful solar flare ever measured was observed on earth then as we put that into Google and we start checking all the websites we'll start to see that the times just keep changing here is another one it says shock waves generated by the intense solar flare of August 7th 1972 at 1500 UT UT is universal time as you can see Eastern Standard Time is five hours behind that so something's wrong they can't get the numbers right. It says the difference from your location is five hours ahead. So that would mean something's not jiving. Then here on solarstorms.org, they have August 2nd, 1972. They talk about the Earth being hit with solar flares. Yes, they occurred on August 2nd, on August 4th, but the mother of all solar flares occurred at about 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on August 7th. Nowhere up here does it say that. I know because I was awake. I remember it. That's the one thing I remember. And... This is a little video that they have up. It's a solar flare versus AT&T. The major solar flare that erupted on August 4th, 1972, knocked out long-distance phone communication across some states, including Illinois, according to NASA account. That event, in fact, caused AT&T to redesign its power system for transatlantic cables. NASA wrote in that account. So... That's another date change. Then there's a video that's up on YouTube and it's from, uh, where was it, Bear? It'll say it in a second. Start it over again, it's only six, sec sec six seconds. And this was videotaped. Or I shouldn't say videotapes, natural footage. The solar flare. A big bear solar observatory. And that was posted up on YouTube. And we don't need this anymore. Alright, this is Dolores Cannon. I told her this information when I first met her back in I think 89 was when we first met. I have to do a video on her. Uh, when I told her, she was like, she didn't believe me. I was like, nah, this really happened. Eventually this is going to start coming out in your books. The first book that it came out in was Convoluted Universe 2. The very last chapter of the book talks about it. So by me telling her and giving her forewarning, eventually when this information did come to her, using her hypnosis technique, she could make sense of it, understand and know what kind of questions to answer and ask. And, you know, she knew about it. The next book that came out with it in it was Convoluted Universe Book 3. You can buy them, you can go to the library, request them, but the last chapter in both of those books 
contains information telling the people this is exactly what happened. What I try to explain to people that do ask me these questions is prior to August 7th, 1972, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the entire planet was existing in a third dimension, fifth plane of existence, and the entire planet was lifted up. And we were lifted from a fifth plane of existence to a sixth plane of existence. Some people in religious circles call it the rapture, you know, there's many names for it. But the entire existence of the fifth plane of existence was wiped out. And we were protected by some of our brothers who knew that if we were not protected, all life on the planet would have been wiped out. And there's some new information that no one else knew about. Only I knew. I shared it with Dolores, and Dolores Cannon died in 2016. So now I'm sharing it with the rest of the people that watch my vlog. Hey, Dolores, miss you. We had a lot of fun. Seen a lot of different things. Enjoyed life together. I will be doing a, a small video of Dolores Cannon. A background to me meeting her, and then me meeting her, and then some of the things that over the years happened and we just laughed. All right, and that's the end of this video. This one will be entitled August 7th, 1972.